May the fourth be with you, my son. And also with you. It's May the 4th, folks, and it's Noob Noob and Z here with you, and we hope you... And Baby Yoda. And Baby Yoda. We hope you get to celebrate the 4th. Uh, you know, it used to be kind of a special day for people. There was a, the big celebration event, and uh, that hasn't gone off, I guess, in like, a, maybe it was virtual or something like that. I've never personally been to celebrations. Have you, Noob Noob? No, I didn't even know it was a thing. You didn't even know it was a thing? <laughs> Star What's... Wars celebrations? I'm only a Trekkie. Mm, not even that. I love watching Pretty sure old you... reruns <laughs> of Star Trek. Yeah, that, that didn't, that that didn't never get aired. Well. That ne- <laughs> those never get aired. Uh, so with May the 4th came some announcements, but uh, they got people a little confused. You know, you'd figure they would announce something big, something outlandish. I mean, they did debut, and we'll start with this gigantic poster. Yes. So this huge poster... This is probably the biggest controversy controversy that's going on right now. So if you take a look at the poster, it's uh, who's it highlighting? You don't even know any of these characters. Uh, do you? Darth Vader. Okay, you know one. Some woman with short hair in the top. Okay. The is that uh, Leia? It were, <laughs> Luke, Luke's got the buns, right? Luke's got the buns. Uh, Yoda, not Baby Yoda. That's depressing. That's non Baby Yoda. Uh, Harrison Ford. <laughs> Not Han Solo, just Harrison Ford. Rosario Ford. Dawson. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I see. My uh, grandfather at age ninety-five. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what else? I, I see some ad ads. There's a Death Star that looks like a probe. I see Darth Maul in the bottom. Where's Darth Maul? He's in the oh, bottom right yeah, there's I see Darth Jabba the Hutt. I see the droids. An I see R two D two. I see the Millennial Falcon <laughs> for all the millennials. I see even even Lando and Chewie get in there. Didn't you read something that said that um, Obi Wan wasn't in there? I see Obi Wan. He's is Obi Wan that where? Yeah, he's right behind. He's whispering into Luke's ear. Oh, okay. ever so maybe softly. he's not prominent. I guess. He's not prominent. Uh, but there are some interesting characters. You already said Ahsoka Tana is yeah. there. She's from uh, shit. What was that series that uh, the Mandalorian? Yeah, the old the oh, Baby the Yoda Clone show. Wars. The Baby Yoda show. Oh, the Baby Yoda show. <laughs> she, she was in. She was in Clone Wars too. She was in Clone Wars. Oh. She, she was uh, one of the original characters, uh, especially from the movie, the animated movie that came out that was a little disappointing, but the series is uh, considered much better. But if you you'll also notice, I think at the bottom there's like a, a group of. Of dudes with helmets on. I think that's from the Bad Batch. I think that's the Bad Batch. Which came out today. Correct. Oh, the show came out today? Yeah. Is that, the big, uh-huh. is that their big announcement? I guess there? that, yeah, yeah, it came out today. I forgot about that. And then they also have Ventress there. Massage Ventress. Massage, massage Ventress. She's so sexy. She's so sexy. Yeah. I even see us. Is that a, uh, a crop top? Oh, oh, what? It's kind of hot. Oh, she yes. wearing a crop top? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So. But you, know, who is missing here? I'm, I'm curious. Who, who are we missing besides uh, Baby Yoda? The most important of all. Who's the bestest ever? The what? What's the little the porgs? No, not, not I'm the sorry, porgs. There are no porgs there on here. There are no porgs. Who? Who's related to a porg? Uh, John she, Boyega. No, she's got all the be- all the powers. She's the oh, bestest. Ray. Yes, you forgot who she was, yes. you, even though you watched those movies. You Lord totally Ray forgot. Lord. Lord Raylo. Oh, Kylo Ren's not in there either. No, interesting. Nobody from the new movies. Nobody from the well, new Palpatine. movies. Palpatine was in the oh, new movies. Oh, he was in the new yeah. <laughs> That's he, very important. He was in the new movies. He was in the... There's no Snokes. Oh, that's right. Snoke was a thing. There's a Snoke thing. Uh, so does that else? surprise you that there is no... Well, they were trash. Everyone hated them, so no. <laughs> so this is released. So what in the world is going on? There's also no Baby Yoda. There's no Mandalorian, There's right? no Mandalorian. But what in the world, if they're saying, this is their official poster that says, Star Wars Day, may the fourth be with you, that they just released. What, what are they, are they, is, is Kathleen Kennedy even paying attention anymore, or is she just hiding somewhere? No, I'm pretty sure she just hates the new movies. She loves the new movies, and she does loves she the though? Uh, 100%. Does she, though? she loves Or she hates Daisy Finn. Ridley. No, she loves Daisy Ridley. She does 
like shrinking fin on Chinese posters, she does, though. Because she's very racist. Completely. Yeah. So also China doesn't like them either. So maybe that's why China doesn't China like or- Star Wars in general. Oh. They're just not into it. They didn't like grow up with it. It didn't really have an effect for them. I think I read somewhere where they said that they're not really into old, unattractive people. They don't understand why they made these movies. They like the Marvel movies where everybody's very attractive and not as most old. people are very attractive. Who's not Scar a Joe is like eh, hit or miss. What? Hit or miss. Get out of town. Hit or miss. Yeah, you're a total bum. But uh, so it's causing an uproar, and it's kind of curious. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know the Kathleen Kennedy. Has she been put out to pasture? Is she just not paying attention? Is she going to marry Bill Gates? I don't know. Oh my God, that'd be hot. He is single. Power couple. Ready to mingle. So there is a couple other announcements that we can go through. I think we we hit this one pretty hard. We can go to the tiny this. one. Yes. Ah, it, there's it's a almost new lightsaber. Right. I don't know that putting it next to your face like that is a good idea. I don't know that it's a real lightsaber, so I'm not sure that it. Matters. That is tough to say. Is it a real lightsaber? I can't tell because well, oh, they're probably doing movie magic because it's in a dark. It's room. not movie magic. It, that's what it does. It, it extends. It does the whole. Yeah, that's the thing. So it's a piece of hard plastic that. I extends. don't know if it's hard plastic. I think it's actually going to melt your face. Oh, okay. It's real. So they hired this child actor to kill herself. This child actor to shoot herself in the face yeah. with a real lightsaber. She will be lightsabering herself later in the evening. It, it is coming out. Wait, is she that? She can't be that young. 20, eh, she looks like in her teens, It's hard to tell. She looks in Tom Hanks's range. What does uh, what, Ray, uh, Ray Disney, Disney Rady? Rady Lee Disney? Daisley? What's her name? Daisy Ridley? Diddly Diddly? Diddly Diddly? Diddly diddly. Yes, she's not that attractive for forgetting. She's her name. also. <laughs> that's why I forgot her name. That's it's true. Easy to forget someone's yeah. name when you're just like me. So anyway, uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, it's cool. I get it. Right. It's gonna come out for like fifteen thousand dollars. It is not. How much is it? I don't. I don't no, know. You don't know. It didn't you say. Know. I don't think. But they did have one more announcement, which I. This think is actually awesome. This one is is probably worth it. And well, I don't know if it's gonna be well, worth it's the price. An, so on a scale of one to, you're really excited, like Hogwarts excited. Eight. You're an eight. Seven. Seven. Hogwarts seven, is ten. Really? Seven broomsticks up here. Maybe booty. eight. Seven or eight. Seven or eight. Because I don't broomsticks. really care about Star Wars all that much, but this seems awesome. But you love that Hogwarts. I do. Oh my gosh. Oh, did I you ever read Hogwarts the books? Castle. I did. I, no, I read an audio book. version of it. <laughs> you mean you watched the movie? I did. Ah, uh, yeah. And there was books in the movie, so it's like uh, I read the books. It is exactly the same. Same thing. For, for sure. So tell us a little bit about the Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel. So the Orlando Disney World. Uh, yeah, that is D- Disneyland is uh, Diddly California. World. Yeah. Anyway, so there is a Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel, which that's neat. It's a literal giant star cruiser. That's a uh, it's a specific stay experience. So it's not like a hotel you can just book for a week. It is literally a two day interactive storytelling so the rest of your week somewhere else and then you'd get to book two days in a cabin with this whole thing where maybe Darth Vader comes and molests you at night yeah it's a uh, story living travel experience Weird. where you uh, the adventure begins you start at the Star Cruiser terminal you check in for your two night experience then you go into a launch pod where Ooh. you see Star Wars through the windows above I huh. guess <laughs> okay uh, I mean yeah. it, it depends on what your choices are that changes how your story oh so it's like finishes. a la carte adventure uh-huh. or is it choose your own adventure it's or choose you your own more. it's interactive no it seems uh, like it's so you could do it multiple times uh huh and you can have a different ending each time oh yeah what if I want on board activities such as learning the ancient ways of the lightsaber and facing off against a training remote wait Ooh, do I get blindfolded you get a you can discover your connection with the force I am connected with the oh force intimately Oh my god, this seems awesome. It doesn't say anything about the price, though. I can't oh, imagine this billion is... billion dollars. Also includes an excursion to Batu. What's that? What's I Batu? Don't know. Guests can explore the winding pathways of the Black Spire Outpost. I don't know what any of these things are. I... Mm. Star Wars guests will be first to see characters like Rey wield a brand new, more realistic lightsaber. Woo! So they get to see that first. Woo! You can explore the Star Cruiser in the deep hidden spaces and the mechanics of the ship. Ooh, you're getting deep. Crown of Corellia Dining Room is named for Corellia. I don't know who that is. That's the Corellian freighters. That's this this race of people. You didn't see Solo, a uh, Han Solo story? I saw it, forgot it. Solo There's Star a space War. kraken. There is a space kraken. Yeah. For a limited time, guests visiting uh, can now see a model of the Halcyon Star Cruiser. What the hell is the Halcyon Star Cruiser? Um, 
not sure. Uh, this seems a little deep. These are deep cuts. I was going to say, if I knew anything about Star Wars, I'd be more excited, but I just want to stay and touch lightsabers Ooh. and probably pay $2,000 per night. Jeez. It's probably it doesn't say be, anything about the price. It's going to be very expensive. Although with uh, what's the theme park called? Galaxy's Galaxy's Edge. Edge is not doing so hot. I mean, obviously with with other things going on, but before that, it wasn't doing so hot. So uh, who knows what's going to happen? Either way, that's our update here from the news with Z and Noob Noob. And uh, if you like us, please give us those you know the usual thumbs up, comments. Tell us if you're going to go. How much would you pay? How much Bantha Pudu is it worth for you to stay there? And then also let us know, uh, I don't know, if you like the fact that Noob Noob didn't have a Star Wars shirt like a dork. No, I have a Green Lantern shirt. It's green Lanterns good. are in space. Star Wars is in space. It's like the oh, same thing. It's the thing. same thing. The green this yeah. is green. There's a green lightsaber. It's, it's like... For sure. Yeah. It adds Either up. way, join us live on YouTube, streaming 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, and check us out on our full-length podcast, which you can subscribe to on all podcast outlets. And from us here at Our Reviews, we'll kill you to all of y'all at home. Stay safe. We love y'all. And on to the next one.